Welcome everyone, this is a tutorial video for your hook. Hopefully you've watched my introduction video to the preemptive strike so you know what we're trying to achieve here. Okay, if you haven't, please refer back to that before you start looking at these tutorial videos. All right, what I want you guys to get used to doing is working on and picking a shot that you feel comfortable with. I would definitely recommend the hook. I think it's the most practical shot for, you know, the preemptive strike, but you might prefer a cross. You know, just perhaps watch all four and pick one that's right for you, or train all four of them. It's entirely up to you. So whether you're new to punching or whether you've you know done a bit before, this video should help you. I will cover, you know, for all areas because obviously I know some of you might have already be used to punching, but some of you might not be. So the first thing we want to do is get our hands conditioned because punching without gloves is what we're obviously going to have to do if it does ever happen so you need to kind of be prepared for that because obviously punching in a in a boxing glove is going to be very different connection to punching you know something without gloves so i want you to get used to conditioning your hands so if you are working on a bag or focus mitts try to slowly you know to strip away your gloves and perhaps start using wraps First, you know, you can buy those gel wraps. I, st I use those in the early days, you know, because they just help protect your hands from, from scuffing and scraping. Obviously, any of you that are professional fighters, I don't want you to, you know, mess your hands up. So obviously you might want to keep your, your wraps or your, your gloves on. But if you are finding that your hands are getting a bit messed up, you know, try the MMA gloves, but just definitely have any kind of glove where you can at least clench your fist, you know, so that you can have that motion. Because as I said, if you do ever have to use it, hopefully you won't, you need to make sure that that connection is, is bone on bone, okay? And obviously we want that nice clenched fist, okay? Really, if you are learning to punch with a hook or a cross, what you wanna be hitting with is these two knuckles. Okay, now I don't actually care whether you hit that way or this way on the hook, okay? It doesn't matter. Again, nobody's grading you or judging you. We're all a bit different. I actually prefer hooking that way. But you know, I've, I've worked with some people and trained with some other people who prefer hooking that way. It doesn't matter, you know? As long as it does the job, it, nobody cares. You know, you might just prefer to go that way. It really doesn't matter. And some of you might even prefer to go in with the palm. The motion and technique is the same as long as you are practicing it from your fence, okay? Everything we're doing, all of these strikes are from a fence. I did find it hard to do that because I had done a bit of martial arts and MMA and obviously, you know, you're told then to keep your guard up. I want you to drop your guard for this kind of training and get used to throwing everything from your fence. If you haven't watched the fence videos yet, please go back to those before you do this, okay? Because we want to get you used to being in the fence and punching from this range, not from here, okay? And again, you know, from my own experience, it took me a little while to drop this to work from that, okay? And again, if you are a professional fighter, I really don't want to undo what you've trained for to, to keep your guard up, okay? So, you know, have a think about that. It can be really difficult to lose or, or ditch old habits, okay? But for the street, we want this to be very unassuming and as stealth as possible. So we don't want to go from a guarded position. In fact, you'll probably find it easier if you're a blank canvas, if you're a beginner, because you can start from here without having to think about dropping your guard. All right, so for beginners, you know, who've never thrown a punch, what we wanna do, get a straight line, okay? And then just step your foot back, your right foot in this instance, if we're working on a right hook, okay? Put your foot back in line with your heel, about shoulder width apart, and point your right foot out 45 degrees, okay? So, like that. Hold your hand up, okay? About obviously height of, uh, you know, face or side of the head. 
and then get used to just drawing a straight line from your fence, whether you're this way or this way, straight line and get used to twisting into it. If you see my back foot there, look, I'm twisting like I'm stepping on an insect. This is the motion that we're looking for. So at the moment, my weight is evenly distributed on both feet. As I come from here, I'm transferring that weight more to the front leg, all right? So I'm just keeping my hand here, and obviously we're going for accuracy before we go for power. So get used to this motion. Again, it doesn't, I don't care how you hit, use your palm if you want to. It doesn't matter, it's the same principle, okay? So we're going like that and then just keep doing this. I know it looks a bit strange, but it's getting you used to throwing this hook from a fence, okay? Just do that lots of times and try to, try to think that the punch is coming from your core, from the center, not from your arm. So kind of, it's good to do the breathing as well. If you've heard me, I do that, you could just, make up your own I don't care whether you have a Kiar or whatever it doesn't matter but just whoosh, get used to this breathing whoosh, yeah because that helps engage the core whoosh, whoosh. it doesn't matter just make it your own I encourage you to make it ferocious because it will add to the ferociousness of your strike you know it doesn't matter you know again if you could use you can use a Kiar I don't care what you do it, it, as long as it suits you, it really doesn't matter. So I want you doing this hundreds of times and get used to it, okay? You can drop the position if you like, but obviously for the preemptive, we're aiming on the jawline, so I would keep your hand up here. If you are struggling with that, drop it and come here first, you know? As long as that straight line, straight to that hand, doesn't matter, move it about. If you're going for someone tall, it doesn't matter, honestly. I just want you getting used to this hip twist. Imagine if a ball was coming into your hip and you're bouncing it off like that, like there was a ball here. Flick it off, just to start with. Eventually, I want you to be able to throw it without even moving that, so it's all hidden, okay? But that's gonna take a bit of time. So do that as much as you can. You know, when we were doing the 100,000 repetitions, I was doing that quite a lot every day. You know, every sort of minute I had free, I would just, you know, stand and, and just get used to this motion, okay? It will all add to your, you know, repetitions and getting the technique right. So if you ever get five minutes in front of the mirror or whatever, just practice this a lot, okay? This motion before you work on power. All right, so positioning, I've hopefully you've watched the fence videos, off the centre line. So straight away, someone's coming to the range, into your range, sorry. Step off that centre line with what I just showed you. Feet are here. So I've lined him up now with a hook, okay? And then if you haven't got a bob, um, use a bag, okay? Uh, my bag upstairs, I did draw targets on there. I drew a cross where the chin would be and I do two crosses where the ears would kind of be on the sphere and then I drew a straight line from the chin to the ear and I marked an X in the center point of about five inches. Okay because what we're aiming for on the hook is the center of that line between the chin and the ear. What I recommend you do is just go slightly back from that because I think I mentioned, didn't I, in the introduction video, if he does lean back, you'll get his chin, okay? But don't go for the ear. You wanna go just slightly back off the middle point between the, the chin and the ear, okay? So if you have got your own bag and you can draw on it, you know, draw a little set of eyes, nose and mouth, that's what I did on mine up there, and then draw those points okay because your accuracy is more important for this preemptive strike than power obviously both is great but you really want to work on your accuracy before the power you know most of us want to just get powerful but you know 
in this instance, accuracy is actually more important. You know, even if you're a seven stone female, if you can drop half of that body weight to that jaw point, trust me, it will have an effect. And if you don't believe me, do a little test. Knock yourself in the jaw with just a few little taps and see if you start to go lightheaded and then you'll know. You know, the thing is, even though you know you're doing that to you, it still will kind of knock the brain and cause that shaking effect, which is what we're looking for for our preemptive strike, is unconsciousness, is your best bet to safety. That's my opinion, okay? So practice that a lot, get this motion going, okay? And then slowly work towards building up power with your breath. Rish. Rish. Yeah? Rish. Get used to doing that from this range. And if you are struggling with that height, work low first, but do not get too used to coming this side of the bag or the bob to create power. If anything, come slightly this side to create the power. And the power is created from you being relaxed. My ha my strikes I do not tense until impact so my hand is actually not even tense or closed until the moment of impact if you've ever fired a handgun or any gun they'll tell you, I, you they'll tell you to squeeze the trigger because if you just pull it you'll miss and, and again I learned that from from my own experience you have to squeeze the trigger and this punch is quite similar I want you to kind of imagine squeezing until impact that's how that power is created and part of you will want to be tense before you impact because you're worried about you know hurting your hand or your wrist bending I've done thousands and thousands of these punches and I've probably once or twice bent my wrist back you know uh, never and I've got quite thin wrists as well your muscle memory will tell you to close your fist or on impact and you'll get used to it. You really need to be almost arrogantly loose for this. You know, hold your hand almost like in a <laughs> funny position like this and then tense on impact. Okay, the looser you are at the beginning, the better, okay? Try to get used to doing that and get this position right and you're aiming for this center point on that jaw. But honestly, I'd much rather you see, see you do a few hundred with no power. Get this motion right that you're punching from your core and use your kime, use your kia, whatever. Just make it ferocious, get the breath right and just get used to it before you add power. And use your hand, you see my hand keep touching, this my little antenna, on the assumption that he's come into that, and then I strike. And ask your brain engaging question every time you strike. So we try and say then, can't we talk about this? That's what we're looking for guys, okay? I'll do another video for the cross. Hopefully that's enough information for you for the hook. If you do want more information, you know, get in touch and I'll try and do another video for you. Okay, I'm hoping there's enough there for you to start out with. All right, but just try to ditch any bad habits of coming too far this way or having your distance wrong. Get used to being close. Okay, I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.